Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can create a button to close out of our programs in JavaFX. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, people, let's create a simple logout button. So we'll need a pane to work with. Pick a pane of your choice. I'm just going to pick an anchor pane. And give your pane a unique ID under the code dropdown menu. I'm going to call this scene pane. Now let's create a button. Drag and drop it anywhere. I'll place it in the middle. You can set the text, although it's optional. I'll set this to log out. And for the ID, I will name this logout button. And for the action, we haven't defined one yet, but I will create a method named logout that we'll define later. And let's just be sure that we're setting our controller. So under the controller dropdown menu, go to controller class and select the controller that you need. Let's save and close. Now head to your FXML document just to be sure that everything updates because sometimes it won't update unless you actively select it. Now within our controller class, let's define all the things that we'll need. We're going to inject our FXML into our controller class. So add that annotation at the top. Let's define our button, private button, and I named mine logout button. And for your pane, we actually need a separate FXML annotation. So private, and I picked an anchor pane, but you might have picked something different. Anchor pane, scene, pane. And you might want to head to your FXML document just to verify that. So we have our button named logout button, and our pane is named scene pane. And let's define a stage. Stage, stage. And get your imports too. Make sure that you're importing from JavaFX and not any place else. Now it's time to define that logout method. So this will be public void log out. And there is one parameter, action event event. All right, now the first thing that we'll do within our logout method here is that we need to get the current stage that we're working with in order to close it. So let's add this line. We already declared our stage, we just have to initialize it. Stage equals, we're going to add a cast of stage, and then scene pane dot get scene, followed by dot get window, so that our stage is the current stage that we're working with. And let's print something just to test this logout method. Let's print, you successfully logged out. And to close the stage, you type stage.close. All right, let's test this. So we have our logout button. To close out of this window, you just click on this button, logout. You successfully logged out. Now, if there's anything that you need to do after you click the logout button, but before we actually close out of the stage, you can just add some code before these lines here. So let's say we would like to create an alert box that asks the user, hey, are you sure you want to log out? And then they can confirm with OK or cancel. So if we would like to add a feature like that, this is how we can do so. Let's create an alert object named alert equals new alert and within here we can set an alert type alert type dot and one good one is confirmation and then get your imports due so with this alert you can set a title header and content let's set the title alert dot set title and I will set this to log out. We can set a header, set header. You're about to log out. And lastly, set content. This will be the content of the body of our alert box. Do you want to save? before exiting. Okay, so then we're going to place 
all of this code within an if statement. If alert dot show and wait, followed by dot get. So depending on the response, if they click OK, button type dot OK, that means they would like to exit. So let's put all of this within an if statement. And we should be good, so let's test things. Here's our logout button. When I click logout, we will call that logout method. And here is that alert box that we created. We're not actually going to close out of the stage until we select OK here. If I were to click cancel, we will cancel the process of logging out or closing the window. So this time, let's click OK to close out of the window. You successfully logged out. Although we can click this logout button that we created to save any progress of our program and close out of our stage, if you were to click this red X in the corner, that's going to circumvent this method. What we could do next is that we can call this method when we click on that red X in the corner. So to do that, let's copy this method that we have and head to our main Java file and paste that here. Within the logout method, there are two changes that we're going to make we no longer need to instantiate a stage because that is created for us already when we call the start method when we begin this program. And second, we're going to change our parameter from action event event to a stage because our stage is currently not recognized. So we will pass in a stage as an argument. And within our start method, we're going to take our stage and use the set on close request. So when we click that red X in the corner of our window, it's going to call this method and we can create some sort of event or call a method before we actually close out of the program. So we're going to pass in a Lambda function event, then that arrow for Lambda functions, and then we will call the logout method and pass in our stage. So when we run this program and we hit that red X in the corner, we will call the logout method and this window will pop up this alert. However, there's one issue though. If I were to hit cancel, we're not going to interrupt our event. It's still going to continue. So we can consume this event. So let's add our code within a set of curly braces because we're writing more than one line of code via a Lambda function. And we are going to type event.consume. We will consume the event and that will prevent our program from closing when we hit that red X normally, unless we confirm it via the alert message that we have. So let's test this now. So when I hit this red X, we get our alert. And when I hit cancel, we will not close out of this window. But if I were to hit that red X again, then okay, we will close out of this window. Oh, and here's a fun fact. If you hold Alt plus F4, that will close out of the program too, and we'll still get this logout alert as well. So you can either, for this application, click the logout button to logout, you can click the red X to logout, or you can hold Alt F4 to logout. So that is how to create a basic button to close out of your window. If you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this to the comment section down below. But yeah, that is how to create a simple logout button in JavaFX. Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.